because a lot of people hair does not grow straight across like that my longest part of my hair is the back of my hair so I like to keep my length but still just cut the ends off and I don't really put heat to my hair and I moisturize my ends really well so I really only um, trim my hair twice a year and I'm trimming either a half an inch to an inch off I think I trimmed an inch off this time and every time I think I trim it's like an inch off I don't have to do a significant trim because of the simple fact that I don't put heat to my hair and my hair is always protected and I moisturize it really well. As far as my hair tutorial, that is coming up now. So if you guys want to see how I flat iron my hair and what products that I use, I've been natural for seven freaking years. If you guys want to know tips on how to grow your hair and how to maintain your length and everything like that, I can make a video on that, which I probably will. Why not? While my hair is straight before I throw a wig up on this mug. So, alright y'all, so let's go ahead and just jump into the video. So today I'm finally going to straighten my hair, okay? I have not straightened my hair since before I found out I was pregnant. I'm now eight months pregnant and I haven't straightened my hair since I've been pregnant in eight long months. So I'm curious to see if my hair has grown, if it's gotten thicker or what. So I'm here looking busted and looking crazy. Ignore the background, I meant to tell you guys that. I'm rearranging this room. I'm redoing things in this room. So the background is going to be a little bit off for a little while until I get everything situated. What I'm using today is I'm using the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner Set. I got these products from my local Walmart. I think they were like $3 a piece. And I'm going to read a little bit of what it says. It says, Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Smoothing Shampoo for Frizzy and Unmanageable Hair. And it's safe for color treated hair. In the back it says, This pH balanced shampoo formulated with Carol Lock technology gently cleanses while infusing lost keratin inside the hair fiber and provides lasting smoothness. And then it says it in Spanish. And then it says to apply lather and rinse for best results, follow with the conditioner. And then the conditioner says, the deep nourishing conditioner formulated with Carolock technology infuses keratin and seals the hair cuticle from the outside, leaves hair soft, smooth, and shiny, um, says in the Spanish. And then it says, apply after using the shampoo, leave on for one to three minutes, rinse to enhance smoothness, try keratin infusion leave-in conditioner. We're not doing that. All we're gonna do is use that shampoo and that conditioner. Now, I'm now I'm going to switch to a whole nother line, and I see this new product in Dollar General. When I was in Dollar General yesterday, and I decided to pick it up and use it on my hair to see if it makes any type of difference or if I notice anything. The Dark and Lovely. It's a Dark and Lovely Damage Slayer. So it says that it's new. 
It's a new product. It says it's a texture bond and fights seven damage factors. Um, it says this is step three, so I guess they have a shampoo and a conditioner, which I decided not to use. Um, and I don't think Dollar Journal even has a shampoo and conditioner, if you're going to be honest. Whatever, I'm still going to use it as the, a deep conditioner. So it says that this, this strengthening condition is the third step in the reparative system. So it says it's going to fight moisture loss, breakage, heat, color, environment, factors, transitioning hair, and relaxed hair. So I guess they recommend this for hair that's been colored or bleached. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I still have some old highlight colors that's still in my hair. Make my hair a lot more drier. I just want to let you guys know what I was using and why I'm using it and how I'm using it. I'm going to use the shampoo, the conditioner, and then I'm going to use the deep conditioner. And I'm going to come back to you guys and start the straightening process. the shampoo with my hair my first impressions guys is oh my god this shampoo smells so freaking good it smells so good like dang i usually get like a clarifying shampoo to shampoo my hair but y'all like in my pregnancy i'm like i'm craving smell good stuff like oh my god and this smells so good but y'all, I'm shampooing twice with warm water, of course. Alright, now I'm about to wash this out and shampoo once again and then I'm going to come back when I have the conditioner and I'm going to give you guys a little quick review on how I feel about the conditioner. But like I said, this shampoo it doesn't feel stripping or anything. It smells really, really, really good and it sets it up pretty nice for the first go around. But like I said, I like to shampoo it twice to make sure all the residue is out of my head. Okay, so this is how my hair looks after the shampoo. My hair does feel kind of dry. Um, a little brittle. Yeah, it does feel pretty dry. I'm not gonna lie. It feels pretty dry. <laughs> this is how my hair looks once the conditioner is rinsed out my hair does feel a lot better and a lot softer this is how it looks so now I'm going to put that restorative conditioner on doesn't really have a smell I'm going to detangle with the comb and then I'm going to twist it up and let it sit on my hair for a while. my hair turned out it's very very soft and it's very very moisturized it's very very soft that deep conditioner or that conditioner did some magic 
Okay, so now I am going to start to blow dry my hair. Um, I blow dry it in four sections. So that same way when I flat iron, I flat iron it in four sections. So the blow dryer that I'm using is the the, the Conair Pro Ceramic Extreme Series. And I'm going to use it with the nozzle attachment. Okay, so I'm going to use a powder brush to chase the hair and to chase the heat. Twist this side up. I twist that out the way. And then I'm going to section this off in half. Twist this out the way. And now I'm going to use the um, the Ion Heat Protecting Smoothing Spray. Yes, I'm going to use that and I'm going to spray that on this section. It's a Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Nasty got hair on it, but this is how it looks. A dime size to put it all on my hair. Get the ends. And now I'm going to start to blow it out. Okay, so after I blow dry that section out, I'm going to do all the sections the same way. Okay, so the flat iron is going to be on the highest setting, the 50. Um, and I'm not scared because I protected my hair. I deep conditioned it with that protector. And then I put some heat protecting spray on it. And then that um, Paul Mitchell on it. So I'm not scared of damaging my hair. I don't ever damage my hair whenever I flat iron it. So I'm not really, I'm not really scared about that. But yeah, so I use the Nano Pro Baby Bliss. And I'm going to use a brush to chase it just to get any type of knots out on the end if I have any knots. So I part it in four sections and then I go in small sections inside the four sections. So, yeah. And then chase it with the brush. Some people chase it with the comb, but 
The brush always gives me smoother results. Every time I do it, I only need one pass. Like so. Okay guys, so I went ahead and changed really quick. So I had to zoom all the way out so you guys can see how my hair looks. Like I said, I flat ironed my hair the other day. This is how it looks. I trim my ends. I don't, my hair goes into a V, so I don't trim my ends all the way, like straight across. I trim my ends in the V shape, so stuff at the very bottom, at the very bottom as you can see, kind of has like a little blunt cut. That's how I do my ends. I don't do anything dramatic or anything different other than that and I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of part my hair in the middle but yeah my hair has gotten really long guys I say I think my pregnancy has helped my hair grow well I know it has and I haven't put heat well I put heat to my hair but I haven't put any um I haven't flat ironed it in a very long time since February since before I found out I was pregnant and I'm eight months pregnant now so I'm just kind of going over it with the flat iron. Um, I like to use this oil free, this oil free shine. This gets my hair really, really moisturized without it being oily. It gives my hair that shine without it being oily. Sunday morning, waking up with you. We got no plans, we got nothing to do. You tell me you love me, I go start the coffee. Sunday morning, easy love with you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm your sunshine mixed with a little.